here's my adjustable bushing now. So I took one of these steel bushings and I just tacked a washer onto it. It rests down within here. And then this is adjustable. I don't want to touch it because it's hot probably from welding it. But this is adjustable back and forth. Um, over the short of a distance you can't see it moving much but it does actually move up and down within this arch arc. Ooh, that is hot. So um, looking at this you can see that I made it adjustable like this. Why didn't I do a straight piece here instead of this curved piece? Um, because my tests in my CAD software showed me that the, I'd have to get it to come out beyond the edge of this right here. And I, didn't, I wanted to keep it retained within this edge so I actually just put a curve into it and, and it actually works out well. So that allows me to adjust my bushing. Ooh, hot still. And uh, all I have to do is, this will allow me to tighten my chain up and then I can lock it down wherever I need to. And then that's not moving um, from wherever it's at. First of all, I want to apologize for the mess in the garage. I don't feel like cleaning it up yet. Um, however, I got this chain tight that chain tight and coming over to this side of the table I now have this chain tight also as you can see I just threw a couple of tacks on to hold it on for now um, this is working out fine in order to, to get this over and tight enough I had to stick a screwdriver right down here and pry on it and then tighten that wing nut down that was okay if I were to rebuild this again which I may end up having to do I'll put a bolt here and Give it, it'll give you know allow it to push on that to give me a little bit of mechanical advantage or something like that. So it wouldn't be that hard of a fix. I can actually just modify this one, and I may end up doing that just for my sake in the future. Um, however, I I did try to go and raise and lower the elevator, and I discovered two problems. The chains are not falling off this time, at least. Um, two problems. I think my sprockets are slightly miscut because. As the chain wraps around at about 360 degrees, I'll hear just a little bit pop, a little bit of a, a chain popping either down here or over there, you know, having one, two, three, four, five, six sprockets on this thing, I'll hear one of them popping or something, and that's just because of the, me miscutting the uh, sprocket. I didn't know what size it was, I guessed it came out really close, and so I was fine with that, and... The other problem is is that it's really tight. I don't know where the binding issue is yet, um, but it's tight enough that the, my electric drills cannot turn it. Well, one of them can. My cordless can, but it's uh, the battery died on it, and I my cord drill is not turning it. It was going to burn up the motor if I kept trying. Um, but I can turn it by hand, but where I didn't use an Acme screw, um, you know, I don't want to sit here and crank on this thing for like 20 minutes in order to get the elevator up and down. And it's just too tight. i got to find out where the binding issue is. The only guess that I have is that I know that at the top here, these uh, you can see how tight I have this. I know one or two of those were actually pretty tight. And I think maybe raising and lowering them, lowering them all together might be causing part of my issue. Um, however... Now that I think about it, one of the issues may be having the chains as tight as they are. Um, because when the chains were a little bit looser than they are now, I was actually able to raise and lower it fine, other than the chains falling off. So my binding might have something to do with that. So anyway, I'll look into that, but not tonight. It may take me another week before I can get out into the garage. 